So I really couldn't wait to film this video and I'm so happy to finally be doing it. So recently, if you guys saw my vlog, you probably saw what I got up to. And I recently purchased probably my all-time, I, I don't, I guess you could say all-time dream it bag. So hopefully the suspense was worth it and I am pretty excited, like I said, to share with you what I picked up recently. So my unboxing and reveal is going to be from this brand and the bag is absolutely huge. So maybe I could stand up and show you guys. So as you can see, I recently picked up something from Louis Vuitton. And yeah, the bag is absolutely huge. Um, I try to figure out different filming situations to fit this bag into one shot, but I really couldn't figure it out. So I'm just going to stand up and show you the bag right here. So I was pretty excited to pick up this piece because Louis Vuitton, I mean, as a fashion lover, I do respect and love Louis Vuitton for their heritage and for their history. But um, I think um, over the past years, I feel like Louis Vuitton started to become a brand that... Uh, number one, I really couldn't relate to on a style level, and number two, I felt like kind of was falling back, um, kind of falling back in the times, like it wasn't really keeping up to this current 2015, and I absolutely love what I believe his name is Nicolas Gasquier is doing at Louis Vuitton, who is the new creative director at Louis Vuitton. I absolutely love everything Nicolas is doing at Louis Vuitton, and I actually think He's taking the brand into a direction that I think Louis Vuitton needed and needed this revamp. And you, you're starting to see that in all of their recent releases. And although I know the item I'm going to show you wasn't necessarily under his his time at Louis Vuitton, I, I want to say. But just his whole image and revamping of the brand really got me interested back into Louis Vuitton and when I got interested back into Louis Vuitton this was the first item that caught my eye. So let me not waste any more time and let me go ahead and get right into everything. So this is the receipt for the product that I recently picked up. I'm going to show you the details inside for obvious reasons but I had phenomenal service at the Louis Vuitton boutique here in Newport Beach at Fashion Island and if you live in the Orange County, South Orange County area, um, really you should go ahead and check out the Louis Vuitton Fashion Island Boutique. They recently reopened it. Their service is phenomenal because they just really pay attention to detail and everything and if you live in Orange County, you will know that South Coast Plaza is probably a really popular location to pick up any Louis Vuitton purchase or just look at Louis Vuitton in general. Um, I like South Coast Plaza, but one thing that I've noticed with South Coast Plaza is they kind of rush everyone out of that store because they get so many tourists at that store that are visiting Orange County to go to that mall that I just feel like they're always trying to rush out people because they have so many sales to attend to. So I had phenomenal service at Fashion Island. Anything Louis Vuitton related, I will absolutely go back there and repurchase it. They just, they treat you like gold. So it was amazing. Now this is more technically a reveal because the bag that I purchased, I kind of wanted to stuff it up and assemble it a little bit because as when you get this bag, it kind of looks pretty it looks pretty uh, depressing how they fold it up and stuff. So um, so the bag I picked up came in this Louis Vuitton long envelope. Envelope, this is a cardboard box. What am I talking about? Um, this is a leather cord, it says Louis Vuitton. Has the taping on the sides. Let's go ahead and give this an open. And I like Louis Vuitton's packaging. You know, it's really simple, very classic, and you know, it's not too crazy and overdone. Enclosure, so I'm trying to open them up. Oh, I think I got it. All right. All right. So when you open it, it's basically just pure cardboard and inside. I'm making a total mess. Huge, huge Louis Vuitton dust bag for my item. Obviously my item does need a huge dust bag because it is a pretty big bag. Um, so yeah, dust bag. This is my first Louis Vuitton purchase. So um, will purchase of, of that I made on my own. So this is kind of new to me. Um, I like the dust bag. It's pretty cool and pretty classic. Can't complain. So can you guess what bag I picked up for myself? <sighs> it's still pretty uh, surreal that I even have this here with me. So I picked up the Louis Vuitton Keep All 45 Bandolier 
in the brand new men's canvas known as the Daumier Cobalt. Now the difference with the Daumier Cobalt from any, any line available in the Louis Vuitton canvases is this line actually launched and I think the sales associate told me January 2014 and this was a it started off as a seasonal launch with Louis Vuitton but then they actually carried it on and made it a permanent item now why is it called Damier Cobalt because it comes in the signature Damier print but if you notice it is actually a very soft muted navy-ish cobalt blue. I know I just listed every blue under the sun right now. Um, it's kind of a very soft muted blue and black, a very soft black. And it's just absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold the bag up so you could get a better idea. Now this is the size 45. Damier Cobalt only comes in the 45 and the 55. I don't really want to review this bag too much because I'm not that familiar with it yet. Now you'll notice that the leather on this one is, it's a very soft black. The and sales associate told me that the Damier Cobalt canvas has the most luxurious leather on all of the key balls. That is because she told me that this is actually the same leather that they use on, I believe she, she said like their... Um, their soft leather Louis Vuitton bags, like their non-canvas bags, and that's the leather that they actually use on this one right here. So the leather on this one is a little bit more different than the Damier Bin, because the Damier Bin, from what I saw, was quite reflective and sheen, and the other leathers, like the Vachetta and things like that, obviously, they, they turn a honey color or darker over time with oxidization and air and moisture exposure. Now this bag is silver hardware. I'm pretty sure you could see. Um, it's just so hard to show this bag. You could definitely see it's silver hardware. Um, it comes with the handle grips right here which I will keep on the bag at all times. And it also comes with the luggage tag which I did get my initials hot stamped onto it. Um, and I got it in this blue color because I wanted to further bring out the blue in the bag, so I went with this lighter blue. When they hot stamped it, it came out lighter than I expected, but actually from a far distance it looks like true blue, I'm pretty sure you can see that. And this is a bandolier, so it comes with the shoulder strap. I'll, I'll do body shots at the end so you guys can see. Comes with the Louis Vuitton lock right here. And it's just a stunning bag. It's absolutely amazing. Now, the reason I picked the Damier Cobalt canvas out of all the other canvases was, number one, it's it's brand new. It's I have not seen many people, if not anyone around here at all, with this print. I, I just think it's so understated, so masculine, so sleek, a little bit edgy. You know, I think it's so fitting to my personal style. The reason I never really liked Louis Vuitton for their bags in general was because their prints were always a little bit too loud for my liking and I know that kind of goes with the heritage of the brand but just some of their like the monogram print is a no-go for me at all. I mean I could I could admire it at a distance and on other people but for me personally and, um, when I saw this it just spoke to me. And the reason I got this bag was because for work, I carry a lot of stuff with me. And even on an everyday basis, I'm noticing that I'm starting to carry a lot of stuff with me. My huge camera, my laptop, everything. So this bag is absolutely perfect for that. So over time, the canvas will soften up. It is pretty stiff right now. I kind of like that though, because I felt the other speedies in store or like you know bags that are made of the Louis Vuitton canvas and they felt quite thin um I don't know if they made a canvas change recently but this one definitely feels more substantial so I live in the United States and it's really hard to find bags that are made in France now because so much of the Louis Vuitton distribution that's done in the USA just stays within our own country but this was the only made in France that I could actually find in Southern California when it came to Beverly Hills, San Diego, and Orange County, so I got really, really lucky. I think this was actually one of the only ones in the Damier Cobalt. So, and I'm showing you the pocket right here because this key ball actually comes with a pocket, like an inside pocket right here. And I know that a lot of other key balls are just one big hole, like I'm showing you right here, and they don't have a pocket. So, 
this key ball, the new Damia Cobalt's actually come with a pocket, so that's pretty cool. A black lining inside, you have your D-ring for just to hook on keys or whatever. I'll probably buy some Louis Vuitton pochette or, I don't know, clay, whatever they're called. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm not too familiar with Louis Vuitton in general. But I will make use of this little ring right here. But otherwise, when the bag doesn't have anything in it, it kind of looks like this. You could buy a base shaper for the bag. I don't know if I'll buy one just yet, but so far, absolutely loving it. And I'm just so happy that I finally have this bag because after I saw it on the Louis Vuitton website, I was determined to get it. And I finally got it, so I'm pretty stoked. I wish Louis Vuitton would release more things in the Damier Cobalt range because it's, it's flawless in my eyes and looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to feature some shots of me holding the bag right now and kind of wearing it with the strap and everything and insert some close-up shots of the bag. Guys, thank you so much for watching. So happy that I have this bag finally. And it was just a mission to find one that was made in France and just getting it in general. So I'm just... I'm happy it's mine, and I'm happy it's I'm happy it's a print that I don't see often, and the blue is actually so noticeable in in sunlight and in natural lighting. The blue is like it just looks so. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're eyeing this bag, absolutely get it. It's it's it just when you see it in the store, it stands out from all the other key balls. I mean, if you have a style or like things similar to what, like I do. This bag is just like, you just, it's like, <laughs> it's, you just like, you know, the heart emoji when you like have the heart face emoji. That's basically my face when I saw this bag. Leave all your questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.